Hey guys, this is Miss Harlequin, and in this video, we're going to be learning how we can enhance the voice of our characters by adding adverb and action stage directions to our script. All right, so just as adjectives exist to describe nouns, adverbs exist to describe verbs. They show us how actions are performed, and they can make even the most vivid verbs come to life even more vividly. So adding a simple adverb before a line of dialogue in your script can tell your actors what emotion you want them to use when they say the line, and that makes the scene more exciting and lifelike for your audience. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to take your draft and you want to read through the scene that you wrote as a whole. Look for those lines that you think should be packed with emotion. When you find those lines, you can add an adverb or a simple body language action and that's going to ensure that the scene affects your audience the way that you want it to. So in this example <clears throat> from Monster, you can see that even just something as simple as the word smiling in parentheses tells the actor that's playing Petroselli the action that they should be doing. It actually adds a whole other level of interpretation to the lines. When Petroselli says, Perhaps counsel wants to approach the podium. The fact that Petroselli is smiling when she says that, she's actually kind of being a little sarcastic. Now an adverb usually modifies a verb and it tells how something happened. For example, you could say she walks swiftly down the sidewalk, shoving through the thick crowds, so you know exactly how she was walking. Or you could say he gobbled down the hamburger greedily, ketchup grip dripping down his chin. So the fact that he was greedily eating the hamburger tells you a lot about the way that he was eating the hamburger. You're going to picture a lot of different types of movement, movements that are different than if somebody was slowly, for example, slowly eating the hamburger. And these words carry a hint of emotion inside them. They also characterize the character, they make you think of them in a certain way. So when you're writing or revising a script, you can direct your actors to convey a certain emotion by either adding an adverb in parentheses before the line. This is part of the stage directions. Um, so here you can see Steve is supposed to act surprised when he says what's wrong. Oswaldo is supposed to be soft and timid. So he's trying to make himself seem like he's not this horrible criminal. And you can also add more specific actions. So you can add a motion by directing the actor to make some kind of small action, like this longer stage direction in parentheses where Steve gives Jerry a brotherly shove. And this really reveals a lot about the relationship that Steve and Jerry have. And it's a very natural kind of action. Most people would behave like this with their brother, especially a brother they get along with. You can even combine an action with an adverb. So in that same excerpt that we looked at, Petroselli was smiling, but here O'Brien stands and goes slowly to the podium looking at her notes. So you have an entire action of what she's doing. Don't forget to include those. If you're going to have your characters doing something rather than just sitting in the diner, you want to make sure you include those directions. So just keep in mind that effective stage directions are going to be written in parentheses, written before the line of dialogue, a single adverb that tells the actor what emotion to use. It's going to also be a short action that shows emotion through body language. And it really should be, I mean, I wrote here no more than five words long, but you know how I feel about minimums. It's really the quality, not the quantity. And again, we're not talking about the longer stage directions that come in between groups of dialogue. We're talking about just the little actions that are going to be within the dialogue, right? So look at this. We're talking about here. This is part of the dialogue direction. These two. There's not, this is not a longer stage direction set off all by itself. In fact, the little bit of a longer stage direction is here. This is not directly attached to any kind of dialogue, so this could be more than five words. But when you're attaching it right before the dialogue, it should be brief. All right, so now do you need to add a stage direction to every line of dialogue? No, of course not. 
I mean, potentially you could. You're the writer. You have to choose. Um, but there is something to be said about allowing the readers and the actors to make inferences to interpret the characters they, the way they want to. You really want to look for, like I said in an earlier slide, the lines that really could be enhanced with strong emotion. And you really want to be explicit about that strong emotion. So look over your draft. Have you effectively used stage directions to reveal character actions? Have you used a sufficient number of adverbs to enhance your dialogue? Make your revisions. And when you're done, try to peer revise. Look at your partner's draft. Make sure they have effective stage directions. You might discover something in your partner's draft that they're not able to see themselves.